Okay, this question uh, 5a is linked to indices. And if you notice, it's a non-calculator uh, paper. Um, so you might have been tempted to, to try some logs, maybe. But you don't have a calculator, so we need to think of a, a, a way that we can do this without a calculator. And the trick is noticing that, that 8, 4, and 32 are all powers of 2. 8, we can write as 2 cubed. So I'm going to write 8 to the power of 2x plus 1 as 2 cubed to the power of 2x plus 1. 4 we can write as 2 squared. And so 4 to the power of x is 2 squared to the power of x. And finally 32 is 2 to the power of 5. Now our rules of indices say that when you have a power raised to a power, we, we multiply those values. So it's 2 to the power of 6x plus 3. And on the bottom, we have the same sort of thing. We have 2 raised to the power of 2, all raised to the power of x. So that's 2 to the power of 2x. And on this left-hand side, we have 2 to the power of something divided by 2 to the power of something. And rules of indices say that we subtract the powers. So that's 2 to the power of 4x plus 3 equals 2 to the power of 5. And if the base numbers are the same and these two things are equal, then the indices must be the same. So 4x plus 3 equals 5. So 4x equals 2. And x equals a half. Moving on to the next part of the question, solving two simultaneous equations. Um, in this case, we have a linear equation, the easier looking one with just a single power of x. And a uh, a, quadratic, a, a, a more complicated non-linear equation. And what we're going to do is take the linear and substitute it into the non-linear. Now in this case, uh, I know what y is equal to. It's x minus 4. So I'm going to substitute for y. So in the non-linear, I write x squared plus whatever y is squared equals 12. Instead of y, we're going to write x minus 4. Now, multiplying that all out, x squared uh, plus x squared minus 8x plus 16 equals 12. Be careful, please, expanding that out. Um, it is definitely not x squared minus 4 squared. Um, if you need to, take it to one side and expand it. But 2x squared minus 8x, bring a 12 across, plus 4 equals 0. Because it's an equation, and these are all divisible by 2, right-hand side included, we can do that. So it's x squared minus 4x plus 2 equals 0. Now, um, I can't think of two numbers. Multiply to give 2 and add to give minus 4. And actually, the question sort of gives away the fact that I wouldn't be able to do it because it says give your answer in third form. So I would expect to have to use the quadratic formula here. And that's what we're going to do. And our values to put into the quadratic formula, A is the number of x squared, so it's 1. B is the number of x's, so that's negative 4. And C is the constant on its own, so that's 2. And so when I put that into x equals minus b, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all over 2a, make sure you know that equation, um, let's put our values in and find out what the answers are then. x equals 4 plus or minus the square root of 16. Because notice minus 4 all squared is positive 16. Uh, take away 4 times 1 times 2. So take away 8 all over 2. So x is equal to 4 plus or minus root 8 over 2. We should know that root 8 we can simplify to 2 root 2, because root 8 is the square root of 4 times the square root of 2, which is 2 root 2. Uh, and now everything on the top is divisible by 2. So we can again simplify that down. x equals um, 2 plus or minus root 2. Now the only thing to, to worry about here is that when we have um, our value of x here, we've got two values of x. We haven't actually solved the simultaneous equation because we haven't given a value, corresponding values of y. So let's do that. 
And the easiest way to do that is take your value of x and plug it into the linear equation. So if x equals 2 plus root 2, then y is equal to, well, it's x take away 4. If I take away 4 from this, that's minus 2 plus root 2. Or if x is 2 minus root 2, my other solution for x, then y is equal to x take away 4. Well, 2 minus root 2, all take away 4, is minus 2 minus root 2. And now we have solved our simultaneous equations. We've got two sets of solutions. There's the first one, and there's the second one.